Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all your updates. Really excited for today's beer. It's courtesy of Steven. Thank you so much, Steven. I really appreciate it. Uh, it is Double Dry Hop Hopeless Romantic Long Live Beer Works 8% ABV. Uh, it's a Double Dry Hop Double IPA. Naturally unfiltered. May contain sediment. They're out of Rhode Island. Uh, they don't list hops. Uh, and this was canned... A month and a day ago? Right about a month. Today's day. Yeah, month and a day ago. Anyway, let's get into it. Well, it's definitely <laughs> unfiltered. <laughs> they weren't lying about that. I like the can art, actually. It's not... Like, the first time I saw it, it made me think a little bit of, like, Nickelodeon Double Dare. But it's not... It's... It, it's a little bit more refined than that, but uh, I do. I just I groove on that. I dig on it. Hi, Bruno. How you doing, buddy? Walking around. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it looks like <laughs> ninety percent of the double IPAs I look at anymore. It seems like it's got that burnt orange in the center, some like yellow mixed in on the outside, especially. You know, just under a finger of fluffy barely off white head small bubbles some medium bubbles kind of soapy looking a little bit sudsy just looks beautiful I mean, it totally looks the part let's get and see aroma there's citrus i'm fighting what kind of citrus i'm getting though I'm going to go with lemon and some orange right now. There's something else very familiar. There's a, at least at this time, a generic tropical fruitiness. Um, it does have the, those two citrus notes, but there's this other very familiar thing that I'm just, I'm having a hard time putting my finger on. Man, what is that? It smells good. It's for a double IPA. It's not overly sweet smelling. It actually, in that way, smells different than some of the beers I've had lately. Um, it's certainly not overly ripe or like to the point of like, is this fruit rotten? You know, but uh, it does have a very soft sweetness to it. Maybe strawberries. Maybe berries. That might be the the familiar thing. But yeah, it smells good again. It, it, it's soft fruit. It's not overly uh, sweet, overly ripe. I'm sure the taste will be nice and, and juicy and sweet, and then some of that bitterness fighting through for balance. Let's find out. Cheers. Thanks again, Stephen. All right, so that that actually drinks somewhere about halfway from the aroma. And what I thought it was going to taste like, it is a little bit more reserved in that sweetness, especially for a double IPA in this style. I love the level of bitterness. It definitely drinks like an IPA. So it drinks like a beer. It's delicious. But yeah, it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It has this awesome mouthfeel. I, I'm gonna stick with orange and lemon as the as the sip occurs and it keeps going, approaching the the end into the aftertaste. That's where I'm getting more lemon and white wine kicking out lemon into a, a nice dry finish. It's very inviting. It's very refreshing that way. And I, I'm sorry if I said it or not. I, I don't remember if I said it, but nice mouthfeel. So it has that nice, soft, it's a little thick. It, it, it's, 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 um, you notice you're drinking it, you know, it's not thin or something. It, it's a short version of that. Like the aroma, for me, it's not screaming too many specific things. I know Matt from Massive Beer Reviews posted his review, and I haven't watched it yet. I, want, I always try to do uh, reviews as blind as possible. I'm super curious to watch his after this and see if, and other reviews and untapped and stuff and see if people are identifying more specific things than I am. It's just kind of like a cohesive, nice drinking experience. Yeah. 
without too many things exploding that are obvious. Speaking of Matt, he and I did two beer reviews. They haven't been posted at the time of this from these guys. And uh, he's going to post, it was either an IPA or a double IPA on his channel. And then I'm going to post a stout on mine. And I had a very similar thought to that one. And uh, it's it's a little like paint by numbers for the style. Everything is checked off. Everything is done correctly. It has that mouthfeel. And again, I mean, it's a little, little less sweet than I was thinking. So I guess that's a little bit of a hiccup. But it doesn't have that extra thing, that uniqueness, uh, uh, something exploding in, in a way that's just like, you know, stops you in your tracks. Like it, it's, it's lacking that. And he and I got talking, I think it was on camera for that review. Maybe it was off camera. So I'll repeat it here just in case. Um, we kind of had a conversation of how far out of the way on a road trip would you still take a detour to go here based on the two beers at that time I had and now a third beer from them. And I was saying definitely 30 minutes one way. So like it would take me an, uh, 30 minutes to get there, 30 minutes to get back on track. Having a third beer... Um, and I, at the, in that review, or again, it might have been off camera, I said, and then the 45 is where I'm a little iffy. Do I want an hour and a half outside of my, I know this might seem like a weird barometer, but I think it kind of helps you understand what I'm trying to say. This beer is kind of helping solidify that maybe 45 minutes, but I'm still not quite there. Uh, what a weird way to, to rate a beer, but, um, it's solid. Like if you went to, based on the three beers I've had from them, if you go to this brewery and you drink the beers, again, based on the three I've had, you will not be disappointed, right? They're, they're super solid. That style in particular was, was amazing. A lot of breweries try to do New England style IPAs, double IPAs, and they're, they're lacking things. They're, yeah, they're, you can't see through them. Success. You have the right hop sometimes, but like that mouthfeel, that creaminess, that stuff that typically is what's lacking for me in a lot of places. This has it. It's just not. Here's the super short way of saying it. This is delicious. This is very well crafted. For me, it's just not quite up at that upper tier of people who are making this style. But it is better than the, I don't want to say the vast majority of other breweries, but like the vast majority of other breweries that, um, are still maybe struggling with this style or just not nailing it or don't quite understand it or whatever. It's just a little too paint by the numbers to be super memorable, but it's delicious. They did it right. I just, I think I'm repeating myself. So it's time to wrap it up. Thanks again, Steven, so much for sending it. I really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram and on tap. It's no hype beer reviews in both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.